Hello everybody, today we are here again with Neil Ehrlich from My Profit about the full live demonstration of how to calculate your profit on the right way in your eBay dropshipping business. We will summarize here all of our previous videos together and we'll show you live how Neil will calculate all of his profits from his dropshipping business. So enjoy the video. Under this video, you will have three links for our previous videos. Enjoy, Neil. Uh, Enjoy. Hi guys, how are you? Great to be here again. Thank you, Leo. So uh, before I will uh, give the uh, full uh, live demonstration, I would like to summarize uh, the previous three videos. So we, we talked about uh, two major things. The first one was uh, the green area. I call it the positive fl flow of cash. Uh, and we talked about the sources that uh, money come from. It was from PayPal, uh, uh, the amounts uh, from, that we received from customers. The second was from PayPal as well, the return fees uh, from uh, PayPal. And the third one was from credit card in cases of uh, a customer uh, provide us, uh, uh, when, when the suppliers give us uh, our money back in cases of refund. After that, we, talk, we talked about uh, the red zone. The red zone is the negative flow of cash. Negative flow of cash, there were uh, five uh, major sources. The first one was from credit card when we paid the, our uh, suppliers. The second one was paper fees. The third one was eBay fees. Number four was a refund. We saw it in PayPal. And the five, the, 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 five, uh, the last one, I called it uh, uh, the non-generic ones, the specific costs, all the VA, monitor, uh, software, uh, warehouse, and uh, things like that. So now I will show you, I created a, a very, very uh, simple Excel file. I will share it now and I will uh, start the full demonstration. So this is the, the Excel files. You can see uh, uh, the three green one is the positive uh, flow of cash. The, uh, the red one is the negative. So let's start with the first one. I will open my uh, uh, November 18. It's the same example that we did in the previous videos. And I will show you what data do the, we need to copy exactly from, uh, uh, from the files to here. So I will share now uh, the PayPal. Okay, this is the PayPal. I already marked the colors. So I want to start with the first one. The first one, the first uh, uh, one is uh, column C, the amount received. Amount received is the money that we got uh, from our customers. And the amount was, I, uh, we can see it in green color, in the green color, 1,560 euro. So we are going back here and we will put one, we we'll write down 1,560 1, 1, euro. Now we will go back to the Excel file, to the paper. Okay, what do we see here? I want to continue with the, uh, the green one. In column G, it's the refunded fees from PayPal in case of refund from customer. We see here, five, uh, the number is 15 euro. We go back to the summary. And we write down, you see here, PayPal return fees, 15 euro. Now, let's go back to the PayPal. Now let's go to the red ones. The first one, red one is fees. This is PayPal fees. PayPal fees is 90 euro. Let's write it down in the summary. PayPal fees, here it is, PayPal fees, 90 euro. And the last uh, data from the PayPal is column F. Column F is the amount refunded from customers. This is the total amount of 308 euro. We go to the summary, PayPal refund, 308 euro. Okay, now we have done, uh, we have done uh, working with the PayPal, PayPal uh, file. Now let's go to the uh, credit card file. In the credit card file, uh, I will sort again the data as I explained in the previous uh, videos, and I will show you how to collect it right. So first, let's, uh, let's sort all the uh, negative ones. We will go to the filter in the amount, and we will choose less than zero. 
less than zero. If you remember, the, the second step is to go to column C and A to Z it, because we want to see if there's nothing uh, suspicious beside uh, our suppliers. I will uh, uh, try to find uh, something that is not AliExpress or Amazon. AliExpress or Amazon. I see uh, that everything is okay. Okay, so the, the sum of this uh, amount of the refund is 594 euro. Let's go back to the summary, to the green one, 594 euro. In this stage, you can see we finished, summarize all the positive one. The positive one is the real, uh, uh, the real uh, revenue of your month. It's 2,169 euro. Now you can see we have three blanks missing. After we will uh, finish adding them, then we can get the, the total uh, calculation. So let's go back to the Excel file of the credit card. And now I want to see, to sort all the positive one. We will go to the amount and we will choose greater than zero. And again, we will A to Z column C. I see here again, this one, PayPal. This is a PayPal invoice. It's not uh, one of my suppliers. I delete it. And then I see there's nothing else that's suspicious. Okay, so after I uh, 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 sum all the numbers together, I will write it down in the summary. And the summary is outcome cash. This is the name that I called it, 950 euros. This is a generic. The, in the generic, it's all the specific cost, how much I pay in my monitor, VA, etc. If I have something like this, uh, I pay a sum of 95 euro. And the last uh, date data that is missing is the eBay fees. I showed you in the previous one. I will show it again. Just uh, open, I will share one of my eBay uh, users. We are going to account settings and we just uh, choose the right invoice from the right side let's see let's see where it is okay november last november it was 34 euro let's write it down in the summary 34 euro 34 so in this stage and uh, this step, we can see we finish marking and write down all the data in the red zone, the negative one. So the summary of the negative one is 1,577 euro. So all you have to do is take the, the green amount and to uh, minus the red one from it. And the calculation is simple like that. 2,169 2, euro less. 1,477 euro, and the real total profit of this specific month eBay store is 692 euro. That's it. You have to do it every first day of every month manually like this. There's no other way of doing it. Uh, this is the only way that I know, and uh, basically that's it, Leo. Paul, cool. I uh, just want to let people know that we will add a link to this uh, Excel file under this video so you will be able to download this Excel file to your computer and use it for the calculations. Thank you very much for the explanations, Neil. It was a great video. Thank you very much for being here with us every time and uh, help people. Uh, see you on the next videos, people. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment. What do you think about this calculation method? If you want any other explanations or if you have any other questions, just write down under this video and I promise that we will answer any of your questions. See you on the next videos. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, guys.